Yeah, ball hour, we're back. Guys, keep liking, subscribing, sharing. Thanks for all the feedback that you've been giving. Um, we've got two very, very special guests today. Um, we've got we've got kings amongst us, kings of you know the north, uh, as they as they say. Guys, you wanna introduce yourselves? Who've we got today? Um, I'm Michael Kamara, captain of the South team. Oh, okay, I see. I see you got a medal there. Yeah, got a medal there, and. Um, <laughs> I'm Anthony Cook, aka Cookie. A um, little bit modest in the middle, but because everybody knows already where he's going. Yeah, away. Yeah, yeah guys. Um, so these two were on the South team for the um, All Star Ball Hour Weekend event. Um, how did you not find the event? I thought the event was wicked. No, yeah. like being in non league for such a long time. Um, I think for people to even get to know each other because you know it's a, it's a small game mm. and you know when you're talking to a lot of managers as well yeah. and they ask you for players it's like oh I know a player I played with a player the mm. other day and then um, that's even happened already so it's like getting to know people that you don't know even though I know a lot of players and it was very competitive talking to the max and it, um, if, yeah yeah go on um, and it was very competitive as well mm. so um, yeah nah I thought the event that you got put on yeah it was a wicked event man yeah, how did you find playing against the actual North team, though? T to be honest, yeah, keeping on the competitive side of the the talk, like, it was banter leading up to it, you know yeah. what I mean? But then, obviously, when you get to the day, it's like, Rod, you know what, yeah? You can't lose. You this. can't lose, you know? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You can't lose, you know? So, but the, the day and all was really good for the first time as well, do you know what I mean? Mm. Um, obviously, you got to win in it and you got the bragging rights. So, yeah. obviously, we done that, but it yeah, it was mad competitive, like literally. Even now, I'm laughing about it, but it was serious. It was a serious day. You know what <laughs> no, I mean? It, 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 it was a serious, serious day. Game. It wasn't a joke. Yeah, I, I think those those who um, who don't know exactly what it was. Basically, what we've done, ball hour, we did um, an all star weekend event, well, all star football match that had all the best players from North and West London against South and East London, and um, we just put them against each other. MK, you were captain of the South. Um, I heard you were a good captain. I didn't really hear any of that, but I just thought I'd say that. Why? I assembled a proper team, though. No, no, you did. You did. To you know be what I mean, fair. like you did. Leading up to it, when the team come out, th there was a lot of people that I left out. People yeah. were thinking, "Raw, like, no, why aren't I playing? Why aren't I playing?" But in the day, as I said, it's competitive. Like, yeah. you need sixteen people that are gonna come and do a job and go home. Do you know what I mean? And and did win you, and win yeah do you did know you, what I mean did you have any reservations f from the get go about putting Cookie in the team oh no Cookie was my to be, <laughs> to be fair I'm, I'm not even going to say because he was here like he was probably one of the one people that I messaged straight away because I know listen I know even though you know Cookie is a, he's a jo joker and he banters but when you get on the pitch like it's serious isn't it yeah like Cookie would tell him himself me and him have played against him so many times yeah. and mm. <laughs> we'll be bantering but when you get on the pitch you you won't even. It will look like we don't know each other. He just, he, he just does his job. He ripped job. my boot. He ripped my boot one know. time. I don't know that on one foot. still. No, I remember that one. <laughs> I remember that one. The ball was nowhere near it. He stood on my foot. <laughs> stood on my foot and then looked me in the eye. And I'm thinking, bro, what's going on here? What is no. going on here? And no. I think, what did I do? Did I dig you in the ribs? Yeah, well, it was literally fight. It was a fight. It was a fight. It was a fight. It was a fight. Like a UFC fight. I remember. What game was it? It was Epsilon Dover. I think it was Epsilon Dover. No, there's Or was it Chelmsford? No, it was Chelmsford you ripped my boot when you no, were, I think it was at Staines. Yeah, yeah, no, but it was absolutely Dover where you, um, in a in a league game. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember you was pinching me and all of that. I said, what? And you stepped on my foot and I just gave you a quick dig <laughs> to the ribs. And I remember. <laughs> you, you started, and I said, oh, no, he snitched. He had to snitch. <laughs> so I ran about 10 yards behind and it's, yeah, just no VAR them days. Saying that though, yeah. I remember our last game that we played when he was at Epsley and I was at Hampton. And... My, my one of my boys was in the in the stand and he was like, "Bro, do you know that boy? I saw you don't know him." I said, "Yeah, I know him. I know him." Like my proper proper boy is like, "What are you two fighting for?" And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, listen, his way, isn't it? Yeah. If I if I give Cookie a yard, he's gonna bug me in it. I know, yeah. so I know I need to be in his face, isn't it? But sticking to the competitive side of it, like he was probably one of my first people that I messaged because yeah. I knew, ah, right, cool. Let me get him in early doors." Because mm. it was kind of in, in the in the break where everyone's gonna go away, innit? Yeah. So obviously got him and then got everybody else in, and it was like, all right, cool, we're well, good. Do you and know um, what I mean? it helps when you know he repays you by scoring the 
the to goal, honest, goal you, of the match. You, you can even see it in the picture. I was like standing there, like, yeah, because <laughs> I'm thinking, what's this guy? Oh, swear down, goal. Oh, okay, cool. Like, ah, right, quickly, like, right, we need to talk about this one. Yeah, though, you yeah. need to actually explain mm. yourself. Still. So the balls come to you. You've taken the touch. I think the keeper kicked it out. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you've taken a touch. Did you know straight away that like, this is what you're gonna do, or was it just literally like a bit of pressure and you just get rid? No, I think that wasn't even the nah, get rid thing course. still. Because are you imagining this? After I put the side wide over the fade and some bungo on it. When he touched well. it, you know what? When he touched it, I was like, cool. Then he shot, and I was like, what's he? And then the keeper, I don't. Even the keeper know was the still keep, of his keeper was still off his line. Doing. So if you're on the edge of the box and you kicked it out trying to do them, I'm gonna give it right back to you. And it was rude, still. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It was rude. <laughs> no, it was rude. And then the celebration, you just it's as if you do it every day. You know what it is? That game was competitive. Yeah. And um, I wanted to win. And I don't usually celebrate equalisers. Mm. Like, it just in general, in football. So if I equalise, it's like, go and get the ball, let's go and win now. Mm. Yeah. So that's just my attitude in total. So it's like, all right, we scored. We're back in the game. We've mm. been doing foolishness. So yeah. let's go and win. And it, it's so it's so funny because that goal come at a time where, I'm not even going to lie, obviously, I was supporting the South team. I didn't know how you were going to yeah, get back in the game. Still. Yeah, but I didn't when, know. They, when, when, when he scored that, Everyone was like, ah, cool, that's it. It's yeah. not going extra yeah. time or whatever. Like, run the game now. Yeah. And There's then 15 Zabon. minutes left. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Zabon. Zabon, you press R1 and what is it? I don't play FIFA no more. Is it square? Yeah, one. Circle, one of them take oh, it. Whatever it is, just, <laughs> yeah. just put it in the top bins. And and then you, you brought the trophy with you lot today. <laughs> The, the one that you got, so um, it's been nice in my flat, you know. <laughs> chilling, like, what piece are you, what you got on the, the centerpiece table? It's literally you go up my stairs and it's like there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Like my nice, missus nice. been going. Oh, when is that coming out? I said, no, it's, it's not, not coming out. out. It's, it's not coming there. out. Yeah. Just make sure you lot are there to defend this um, next year. Well, oh, but for you to actually play, MK, you've got a sign for a team, mate. Yeah, I'm gonna sort that out. At the minute, I ain't got a club, but. Yeah. Just obviously floating around, seeing what's happening. Where did you finish the season? Because we need to talk about this as well. It, because you know I don't what, know yeah. how, many, how many promotions. I saw two promotions in two days. <laughs> you know what, yeah? I saw two promotions in two days. It's mad. Like, Never seen that before. I can't even lie, yeah? Last year, what I've been playing non league 11 years strong, yeah? Mm. Was the first year last year I played for like three clubs. Like, stupid. Like, it was dumb. Like, I had my pre season at Hampton, thinking I was going to stay there. Then I didn't end up staying there. Mm. Then I had a bit of personal problems at the beginning of this, like literally three days before the season started. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't even gonna play football last year. Yeah. I was just gonna just jack it in. And then um and then I went Dulwich. I went Dulwich for a bit. And to be fair, I probably wasn't when I look at it now, I probably wasn't even fit to be honest. Yeah. Mentally and physically, probably wasn't even fit. And then they let me go well, yeah, they let me go. And then even then I wasn't gonna play again. Like yeah. literally I was gonna say, Do you know what, I might just see it out. Mm. Then I went Farnborough and I played about 25 games plus there, like, got fit, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then I had my little one, like, Welcome best blessing ever, safe, best blessing ever. And then um, I was just going to concentrate on my family, to be honest. Yeah. And then my old manager at Hampton, literally, he's gone woken and he said, I'll come down. And then I was training there. Then there was a week where they had no, like, no defenders and I ended up signing there. I played a couple games, but it was kind of, I kind of knew what I was signing up to. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, they were flying. I was thinking it's going to be hard for me to play anyway, but yeah. I'm, I was on a glory hunting thing still. Yeah, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? So I was in there, and then this is where it got a bit techy now. So then I wasn't playing. Then I played a one off game for Tombridge in like a Kent game. But with non league, you can do like the dual reg yeah. like madness. So I played that one game, went back to Woking, and then it was the week Woking were in the playoff final on a Sunday. So I was just driving, minding my own business on a Thursday, mm. going training. And then the Tombridge manager called me and he was like, um, oh, Mike, what are you doing Saturday? And I was like, um, we just got training. I've got to go to a hotel. We've woken because mm. we've got a game Sunday. And he was like, um, do you fancy coming to play our Super Bowl final on a Saturday? And I was like, what do you mean? Like, and he's like, yeah, you should do your reg. So I was thinking it makes sense because I know I'm not going to play or yeah. I'll be involved, but I'm not going to play. Do you know what I mean? For Woken on the Sunday. So yeah. I was like, all right, cool. Went there, played that game ended up winning it then straight after that game I had to go to the hotel we woke in on a Saturday night Yeah. and then the Sunday went to game on Sunday and then we won the playoff final then and it was like he was bantering me literally like straight after the game he was like bruv two promotions 24 hours I was two like promotions. it's mad it was because, mad yeah it was just mad like, like, I've, I've, like I've never been involved in a weekend like that even, even I never played for the 
woken on a Sunday, but yeah. just being involved in yeah. all the madness in terms of like where my season started and because at January I was thinking, do you know what? It's going to be a bit mad in the summer to, mm. to, to get a club because I haven't really played. Like even now I haven't got a club, but I'm still in. But you're kind not of struggling a, for a club. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm still in a stronger position than mm. I was in January. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, it was mad. That weekend was crazy. And then obviously you played the ball hour. It's got another trophy. And then got another trophy. So it was like... Looking like Danny Overs, right? No, now. it was just <laughs> mad. No, but it was mad. Like, yeah, non-league's just... It's, you see, football is a funny game. It's just a mess. Like, nah, you just have to keep grinding. Especially it? non-league. Yeah, non-league's just a mess. Yeah. When you think you're down and out, something happens, like you know that. what I mean? But yeah, it was a mad weekend. I can't even lie. It was it was, it was stupid. I couldn't, even, I couldn't even write it, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, it was mad. Okay, well, anyway, at least it... Um, it all ended well for you. Mm. Um, Cookie. Mm. So, Dulwich, mm. we're not there anymore, are we? Nope. Why, no, <laughs> why, no why are you not at Dulwich anymore? So, I um, I'm in trouble. Dulwich, Dulwich have got, got into, uh, <laughs> got mornings now. Yeah, so Dulwich have got mornings now. And with work, I can't commit to that. Um, Is that literally the only reason? There's, there might be more reasons. Oh, okay. Cool, yeah, cool. but... Um, o- open book and that. Yeah, yeah, open book. Yeah. Like, um, I felt at Dulwich last year, um, when I went, I didn't didn't play in the positions I wanted to play. Um, ended up playing, being on the transfer list in January, and then playing the back end of the season. You're on transfer list? It's on the transfer list, and I played I every game. That. Can you imagine that? It's, <laughs> it's crazy. Never heard I'll of it before in my life. In trouble. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so um, I was on the transfer list, play, ended up playing every game um, at right back. And um, to be honest with you, I wasn't really enjoying it. Mm. No, I wasn't enjoying it. And um, I thought, this time as well, I thought, um, when it come around to the end of the season, I thought, I'm going to have to move on. I'm going to have to go somewhere else. Didn't know where I was going. Yeah. Because I just thought, you know what? It was still a thing with, with Dulwich. Yeah. Um, we had to just try and stay up. <laughs> so, um, like, football, it's, it's my job. I'm contracted. It's my job. So yeah. I'm going to do whatever I'm told to do and try my best. Yeah. That's just me. That's my attitude. So, did whatever was asked of me. And then once it was the end of the season... Um, I got contacted like a month afterwards but it's weird because I had a clause in my contract but um, that triggered like another year but but, um, but yeah we had a discussion and I couldn't yeah I couldn't go full time so that conversation because obviously it's um, manager is Gavin Gavin mm. Rose it's not the easiest to deal with at you know shout out Gavin though but you said that was it um, who? you he said s- that he said he's not the easiest to deal with I mean I've I've, I've, I've dealt with him Okay. Shout out, out Gav though. So, how did that conversation go? Was it, it literally just nah, I want to go and no, no, no. It was a, it was a good conversation. Me and Gav was there for about forty five minutes. We had a conversation. Um, he obviously explained to me. He said, "Listen, he told me the situation with Dulwich and everything, and they were going full time." But they wanted to keep you though. He he actually apologized to me. Yeah, Look, but that's cause Gav, if you're Gav saying you were actually, transfer listed, so it's weird. It was it was a weird one. So. Gav actually apologised to me um, for saying that obviously the conversation that we had in the summer it didn't quite work out um, obviously it's to do with myself as well when it, when the season first started I started probably the first game of the season when I was, didn't do most of pre-season because of a hamstring injury Yeah. then got another knock and was still playing but um, I think it was the way that um, Gav wanted to play it didn't kind of suit my game mm. and um, and the com- after conversations that we had in the summer and everything, and we continued to speak through throughout. Even when I was on the transfer list, it wasn't like a, a thing where we weren't speaking to each other. There was mm. respect there. That there was but what was the reason for you being on the transfer list? Honestly, you don't know. There was no real reason that it, that was given to me. I think it was just that I, I have probably come in and done as well as he thought I would have done. Mm. Um, but obviously, with discussions around the positions I'm playing and, and yeah. so forth, but. I still, I'm still playing, so it d- didn't make any sense. Yeah. So I was just on the transfer list. Obviously, I spoke to a few clubs, but it had to be right for me. Yeah. Because obviously, I'm working, working in the city now, and it's to get to train and everything. Mm. Dulwich was perfect. I live 15 minutes around the corner from it, so mm. it was like it was perfect for me. Yeah. But, so I wasn't going to rush off and go anywhere, and and I was still playing, so it wasn't like I'm just going to be here and picking up my money. Because if I wasn't playing, then I would have went somewhere. Yeah. yeah I would have dropped a couple of levels if I had to. But even though I don't need to. So but, was it um, an, an easy choice to go to Welling? When it came around, it, yeah, it was. Mm. It was a no-brainer to me. It just it made sense. So the week that I left, um, I revealed that I left Dulwich. Like obviously, I got con- um, contacted by a few, quite a few teams. Mm. And um, 
for me it was like you know what I don't even want to think about football right now I've got six week break and it's not really a break because I'm still working mm. yeah. yeah so Long. yeah so let me not even worry about it and then um, Mark Goldberg I, um, I think it was the week after or the week mm. um, took over at um, Welling so he's the chairman but he's now the manager took over yeah. at Welling got a very good relationship with Mark I've gone to leave with him at Bromley at Conference South and um, he gave me a call he said what, do you fancy coming down explain to me his plans everything about the club and that club's got potential to go places like watch his space yeah, I heard and, um, um, he's, he's giving you the bag <laughs> you know, that, that is that is definitely not the truth I can, I'll just say what, what I heard I can confirm that is definitely not the I'll, truth I'll just say I have to work I harder heard. at work I have to work harder at work now because <laughs> if I was going somewhere for the money it would definitely wouldn't have been well in because if you speak to any player that's there there's no there's not big piece there there's okay not big so money there. so what is it about is it literally about the vision and that it's the vision it's the players that I know I'm playing with I know that he's gonna play me how I want to play and I've got a lot to give I've got a lot to give it's even having these few games in pre-season it's like because so he's he got a lot of um, yeah you're going to ask me if I cross that one I'll clear that one as well <laughs> 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 yeah but um <laughs> Nice. It, it's one of them things where I'm playing with players that know what, play, uh, know how I play, mm. n- know how I can affect the game. Coaches, I know the, um, the coaches Osei and Hugo. Yeah. So it's like they know how I'm going to affect the game. Mm. I'm going to work hard regardless anyway. Just to be clear, your favoured position is right mid. R- right or left? Mm. Oh, you can, right or left I think you, know you can go left. What? <laughs> That's yeah, that was that is causing carnage. Boy, the left hand side, don't let me come inside. Yeah. <laughs> Old school insta videos. But um but yeah, that um so yeah, it was a, it was a no brainer for me to go there. It's even funny like when I'm speaking, I feel like a new player. Yeah. Like That's what you said outside. Then. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I honestly feel like a new player. It's I've gone somewhere and there's not so many rules and how you want you to play. Like just go and do your thing, mm. like do what you're good at, work hard and like I'm kind of, it's like when I'm playing around players or playing with players, I think that my energy is kind of infectious. Yeah. So some people might think I'm a bit of a madman when I'm screaming at them, right, because they're not running around. Mm. Yeah. But if I'm doing it, you can do it. Mm. Yeah. I've had one knee for about seven years. So, yeah. What's um, you've been at Dulwich as well. Mm. What is it like at Dulwich in terms of atmosphere and and playing there? Is is it very pressured? Um, pressure, right? pressured. I think I grammar. I don't know. I think <laughs> obviously because I'm because I because I coach as well. I coach young kids. I, I'm on that coaching journey, and I I kind of get how managers think in it. Like mm. you try not to take it personal in it. Some people coach a different way. Some people coach this way. As as I say, as Cookie probably said that like, he probably went in there, and there's probably rules of how he's meant to play his position in it. Mm. He's probably gone to well in now, and it's like all right, cool. When we have the ball, do your thing. When we don't have it. All right, make sure you defend in it. Mm-hmm. But I think at Dulwich, I think it's because they've always been known to pass the ball, and this is how we're gonna play. And 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 if you can't do it or you don't want to do it, you're not gonna play. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit cliche if you sign someone like Cookie or anybody else to come in and and try and adapt it straight away. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Because obviously it takes time to learn, isn't it? Yeah. So you can't sign someone and if they don't do it in two games, it's a bit mad because it's like. All right. Well, you know what they've done previously. Mm. You got to give them a ride in it to understand what's happening. Obviously, I get some players don't get it. Some players will, but atmosphere at Dulwich is depends how you want to. It depends how it depends how you want to take it in it. Like as a senior player, it might be a bit tough because you're you're a man and you go to work and you come in and you just want to kind of enjoy it in it. Mm. As a young player, you can't you kind of know. All right, cool. If I give my all, I might get a move because they're yeah. obviously known t- to sell players, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So it's a bit, it's, it's on the balance, isn't it? But yeah. I don't know. It's, well, see, well, no, I do know, but it's not me. F- it's not for me to say, isn't it? Like, you see what it is. It, when, 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 mm. when you're in there, you know how it is, isn't it? On the outside, it's different. That's all I can say. Mm. You see what it is? That, that I do understand like, the way Gav thinks, though, because he's always had a... Um, a team that's done well yeah or he, yeah, he's yeah, done yeah, well yeah. with the teams he has like in the division when they were in the round one south how much of that do you think's got to do with the fact that Dulwich are in this sounds like we're bashing um gav but no, it's it's not like, it's, 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 it's like, yeah it's not how much of that has got to do with the fact that Dulwich are in a hot spot if you know what i mean yeah of course for, for talent yeah they're in south london isn't it? Mm. Like, 
even when they show the stats, I know it's a bigger thing, but with England, majority of them are from South London, yeah. isn't it? Mm. So obviously, if you got young players coming out of Charlton and Millwall and West Ham and wherever, Crystal yeah. Palace, if they're gonna come out and drop into non-league, that's the hotspot to go to. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, it's a cliche because you go in there and you're like, alright, cool. I'll, there's a the pressure. I'll, I'll yeah. go do well because I can get out. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And go back into full time, but. I don't know, for a senior player, it's it's a bit different, isn't it? Mm. Mm. It's a bit different because it's like, not to say that you don't have aspirations to do well, but you know, as a senior player, you're probably not going to get moved, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're probably not that more important than a 20, 23, 24 year old. That yeah. How, how football's going now, you do well, especially in non-league, you're going to get a gig yeah. somewhere else, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, yeah. On that sense, yeah. So go and cook it. I'll, I'll cut you off. No, 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 no. That's cool. No, no, no. I kind of understand where Gav's coming from. I think like it's even in that conversation that I had with Gav is like, obviously the club were going through a lot of problems. Like mm. last year, this time last year, didn't know if they were gonna go back home, playing yeah. two in. Um, we started off playing some mad football. We was popping it around. It was crazy. Mm. Like, we, but we just couldn't score. And then obviously as a manager, you have to look at look at certain things. I think right, how am I gonna start getting them? Um, Mm. results out of this so and you kind of try to revert back to what you what you've done before and I think that's kind of what Gav was doing mm. like reverting to back to what he's done before and where he's been successful but obviously it's a completely different level now and mm. you're working with different players mm. and um, I think there was a more a lot more men in the team mm. yeah and um, so to deal with that I think that was a bit difficult because it was a I think it was four of us that went on a transfer list and we was the four oldest players so maybe it's a coincidence maybe not mm. but um but yeah i think i think it was, it was one of those things but i think they'll do be- even training times because i know the, cl- the club were having problems like we've obviously they had to get funds together to pay players and stuff yeah. like it so i think we trained on a monday and a thursday like thursday was at 5 45 on two seven aside pitches at bromley like yeah. for an hour what can you really yeah. do and when you've got a lot of young players and you're trying to put something into their head, implement how you want them to play and mm. you don't have a lot of time, time fun, it? yeah, it's well, it's going to be hard. It's going to be really difficult. Yeah, It's going to be really difficult, especially playing at this level because everyone that's playing at that, you're at that level for a reason. Yeah, There's a reason why you're playing at that level. So, like, if you don't have the time to implement your, what you want as a coach, as a manager, yeah, mm. philosophy, you know? yeah, yeah, then it is, it's not going to, it's not gonna work, mm. but in the end, we kind of we knew how to work out things, and we went on a good run, especially after we went back home. Yeah, because that club is amazing, by the way. Like yeah. I remember, like, because Dulwich is the closest club to me. Yeah. So when I wasn't playing, when I was full time and I wasn't playing, I didn't have a, a game to say that. I used to go down and watch. Yeah, used to go down and watch. Yeah, fan base. Used to go down and watch. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah. That club yeah. can go wherever it wants Ron to go. club, mm. like to get like two fives minimum every week on Saturday at home. It's stupid. Mm. I don't think there was no less than two seven That's or something I mean. like That's, that when, when we went back home. It doesn't make sense. I was like, what is this? You, you go out and just like, and the team, I've never seen t- a team behind the uh, players when they're losing a football yeah. match. Yeah. Like yeah. I've seen that before. Mm. Like they're singing and you're getting, cla- I'm thinking, right, I'm yeah, used to smart. be playing when you're playing for teams that are doing well. Mm. And then no you're getting, oh, this yeah. cookie, you like, ah, blah, yeah. or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, What's yeah. he doing? Get yeah. him off. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you don't, you don't hear that stuff. It's crazy. When they play at home, you feel like you're, playing the proper football match yeah it's crazy because the, the, the CFO of my like the, the company I work for he goes to Dulwich games he's not even a football man well, like there well there you go then he, and imagine he goes, in Dulwich, he to Dulwich games. Well, Dulwich. so you got you got some people that don't know nothing about football but they know uh, you know what three o'clock and then I'm going to watch mm. Dulwich play you know what I mean yeah no, seriously it's, cr- it's, it's crazy it's fake for a non-league club it's fake mm. do you know what I mean because would you that, say that's that's you know the club you've played with you know, with the best fan base. Mm. It'd be up there. Yeah. For me, me personally. Maybe not just numbers. Yeah. Like, but yeah. just in general. Yeah. Like. For me personally, it'd be, they'll be up there. I'm not lie. For not, me personally. Not Hampton and, and no, Hampton. Do you know what? Hampton's a little village, isn't it? Like, no, mm. no, none of the fans would be angry if I said that they're a small town, isn't it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I was lucky enough the three years I was there, the first year we won it, mm. second year, we lost to them in the playoff semi-final and then the third year we lost in the final yeah 
against Braintree, but mm-hmm. like they won't be rude. That no, they won't find me rude saying that. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because they're a small, small town. You know, we overachieved. Do you know what I mean? But Dulwich, I'd put them up there. Like obviously with being at Dover as well. Dover, was, Dover was all right. Could be, could be poison at times. I can't lie. Bro, do you miss the game? Like. Do I miss it? Yeah, na- yeah 100%. N- now that you're not, you ain't got a, a club right now, you're seeing everyone do pre-season and everything. Are you missing it? Or yeah, missing I am, because obviously I'm at home. I'm just with my, my... I love my little one. I love my missus. Like, I'm at home, innit? But I'm in no rush at the minute because of the fact that I know how non-league is. It's a, it's a long roller coaster. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to just go somewhere for the sake of it and I find myself in the same situation last year. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And that's the first time in 10 years I said I've played for three clubs in one season. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, are you close to making a decision? Yeah, hopefully I'll find that probably in a week or two. Do we get do we get breaking news? Or? Yeah, you, I'll let you lot know what I'm doing in it. No, I mean like now. What now? <laughs> no, no, no. no. Hey, until that paper's yeah, exactly. yeah, 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 the ink is out in that paper. I hear that. Think, yeah. I hear that because I thought you were coming down to to, to Haringey. You all, you know what? I that was you. my. I that was that's where, as, as you know, I thought I was going to sign. Do you know what I mean? Because it was like after the All Star game. Mm. Obviously, there was talks of me going there. But the goalpost got moved. <laughs> I'm not. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can't say A and then it's when it's ready to go, and stick with A. Yeah. The goalpost get moved, and it's like, do you know what? Like, I might not look thirty, but I'm thirty, and it's like, if you're gonna mess around, I haven't got time. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, mm. and the thing is, that would have been a massive signing for us. Well, it would have been massive. It is what it is, isn't it? At the end of the day, I'll just come in it. Like, Nah, no, I turn yeah. agent, turn nah. presenter, turn raw. Yeah, I mean, nah, everything I'm in it. Cool. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. Just I'm try cool. to sign you up. Yeah. <laughs> like, we, we, we couldn't afford you. To they're be. gonna have to sell the whole stadium if they're gonna sign Cookie. <laughs> I know, man. Cookie, bro. Um, Tom, Tom actually. I don't asked know about, me about these you. these rumors. You know, nah, Tom, hey, that, Tom actually asked me about you um, during the the ball hour, the Harry game manager. Who? My my manager during the um, ball hour. Event. Okay. My phone was ringing, like, he kept ringing me every five minutes asking me about players, like, if they're looking for clubs and that. My phone rang, he's just like, Dabs, is he looking, the one that just scored that goal, is he looking for, for a <laughs> 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 He's looking, I was like, because oh, you were at Dulwich, uh, yeah. I was like, oh, he's at Dulwich right now. Do you think we can get him down there? What, Dulwich? Oh, no, no, we, we can't afford him. It's also funny, you know? uh, But yeah, um, your plans for the season in terms of like willing and um, on a personal level, what are they? I need to really enjoy the game, which I'm doing at the moment in this pre-season. Were you, you enjoying it? Before? I'm not, obviously, mm. but were you enjoying football before? Or was it literally just... Last couple of years, I was saying to MK as well, I haven't really enjoyed it. Like, mm. there's a reason why I stepped out of the full-time game as well, because... Ebsley, I had an amazing time there. Like, the fans loved me. Like I loved playing un- under two of the managers. That were well, Daryl McMahon and, and Steve Brown when they were there. Mm. Baller, by the way. The baller, Darryl McMahon. McMahon. Baller. <laughs> yeah, loved playing them. Um, Is this the Steve Brown? No, oh, Daryl McMahon was talking about. No, but Steve Brown. The one that was charting? Yeah, you, you see the charting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I loved my time there. Mm. Loved my time there. And But um, my last season at Ebsley, but the season before last, Started the game, the season suspended. Mm. Didn't get in the team for a little while. Team was unbeaten in that first 10, I think it was like. Yeah. And then um, ended up playing a few games for about a month, six mm. weeks. And then we lost the game. Remember, it was a way to Woking actually, against my playing against my little brother. Mm. And so yeah, then the gaffer switched, um, switched up the, um, the whole team and didn't end up playing for FC again. Ended up actually going on long to Woking. Mm. And went into a situation there where they were flying and they got a lot of injuries loanies went back and i was like oh, i'm the oldest in this changing room yeah like and i was trying to influence it could it, you can see it just going downhill mm. it was just kept going downhill and you could feel things ain't right here that like, things ain't right here the manager at the time and Rick was coming to me and was like hey, cookie can you get hold of them can you talk can you talk to the guys and that um I did, it was just like a downhill and that season i said i'm done with full-time football you know yeah i need to i need to go and look somewhere elsewhere and see what's going on and um it was funny because i text cads after i was remember i was out i was eating food and dulledge were playing the playoff final against um to um hendon yeah two? hendon yeah, at two in two, the mission yeah. and um there was a stream there was a live stream someone um there was a live stream they were filming it i remember hayden bird was was um commentating, commentating. Yeah, yeah. 
and I'm out, you know, shisha and, and drinks and yeah. dinner, yeah, in the day, hot, yeah. <laughs> and the person I was seeing at the time was like, "You're actually watching football?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm watching football." Watched the whole game, you know. Watched yeah. the whole game. Straight after, I was buzzing. I went, "Yes!" When they got promoted, when yeah. Dipo scored the pen, and then um, I text Cads, and he was like, "Oh, what are you doing next season?" Mm. And I was like. Well, I'm not 100% sure yet. Yeah. I've met a few people, got a few offers, mm. but I, I definitely want to go part time now. Yeah. And then Gav, I think I met Gab like the next day or something like that, um, around the corner from my house in a coffee shop. And literally, when I went, I had offers of more money, you know? And I literally, this is, this is if I give someone my word, I kind of have to do it. Mm -hmm. So I said, this is the complete minimum I can take. Yeah. yeah? If you can get there, I'll give you my word, I'll sign for you. Yeah. I'm thinking they won't be able to get there and I'm thinking it's still I, really I can't even uh, really afford to take that. I've given you the, the bare bones yeah. huh? this guy's a hustler nah? yeah. 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 I'm, I'm, listening. I'm, listening. No, I'm, I'm listening I'm literally like <laughs> I've given you my bare bones because I like you lot but I still don't think you're going to get there yeah. then Gav came back and said we can do it and I was like oh, this is mad. I had a few more offers in as well and I was yeah. just like I can't even go back to you now yeah, and yeah. say because I've given you my word, word yeah, I'll yeah. give you my word. I will never do that again, by the way. Never do that again. I'm not giving my word. I'll say, listen, we'll see how it works out, but if you can get that. But yeah. gave him my word and I ended up signing. Mm. And um, yeah, it just didn't work out. Yeah. It, just, it didn't work. It didn't really work out. Like, I'm glad the club back home. Um, I think they'll do well this season because they've, got, they've gone to the morning training. Mm. And the philosophy that Gavin Caddy want to put into the team, they'll have more time to do that with the players. And they, and but you feel like you're slowly starting to like love football again already already i'm okay. telling you already like what was i talking to a couple of the players that came over from dulwich mm. um to well in as well because they couldn't commit due to full time yeah um they were like that's the cookie everyone knows there was a few players that were like what the hell we didn't see that at dulwich mm. yeah me, i'm actually good you know I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually i'm actually quite good now nah, but i'm just it's a little bit suppressed so how does the change going from that the wing to right back i can play right back no you, problem. You just don't want. It's to I actually it. find right back really easy. I think right back and left back is the two easiest. I think it. I, I'm, That's I, why I had him right back in my team, but I knew he wouldn't play right back. Yeah, I just <laughs> no in he, the sense of like yeah. I know he can do it. Yeah, but I know it's like cool. I know you don't think of it. It's right back. You're just there in it. But when mm. we have the ball, go and do your thing in it. And that's why I played on his side because I know what he's like. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, do your thing in it because I know what you're like. Do you mm. know what I mean? And it's funny that you say that. He probably he can probably play right back now for like another ten years probably if he wants to. And I'm not there. That's what I'm saying. When I'm 35, that's when I'll be playing right back. When I can't bomb yeah. up and down, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or keep keep dribbling how I am and actually feeling alright the next day, mm. then I might be. I, might I remember need to Peter go right saying back. that. Peter was like, "That's the first time I've seen Quickie play right back." I said, "Bro, he can do that with his eyes closed." Yeah, like easy, like he easy, like easy. And you know, it is. He plays with pride where you don't want to get bun as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? So it's one of them. That's ones. exactly it. That's what it is. I don't want to lose yeah. any 50 50 battle. I don't yeah. want to get bun. I don't want anyone to beat me in the air. It's crazy, like, having discussions. Like, when I went to Dagenham after I left Cardiff, like, I went out and tried as a winger. Just drop that one. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. But this is what happened. This is, this is what happened. So I went and tried as a winger, and John Steele put me right back. Mm. I remember we played West Ham, playing against Carl Reed, actually. Mm. And he was like, yep, yeah, he's going to be the next big thing, blah, blah, blah. And I said, I'm not letting this brother bun me. Mm. And I remember I played one child game and straight after that, he signed me. And he said, you're right back now. And I thought, what the hell? No, I don't Just even the, I don't know the rules. <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> no one, don't let the ball bounce yeah, as a defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I remember one time that let it out and that happened. He went, no, 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 stop training. No, 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 no. <laughs> tell, tell him, Cookie, don't let the ball bounce. All right, don't let the ball bounce. He's like, all right, cool, whatever. I'm thinking, mm. I'm just literally just winging it. Mm. And... I thought I'd, I'd done all right there like I, I was doing well there and mm. I thought I remember John Nurse um, always said to me he said he said to me recently actually he said if you decided to play right back you could have gone to whatever level so you wanted to go that. to mm. like I but I was stubborn and young you think you know better than everyone else yeah like but now right backs are bloody wing wingers or wing backs yeah, yeah but it's changed now though yeah Thinking, why I mean, didn't that happen 10 years ago, please? Because well, I would be rich. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. It's <laughs> it's I'd be rich. Yeah. It's 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 I'd be rich. I'll be football changing now, innit? Cause... Obviously, because even you, you play centre back now. Yeah. And when I heard you were playing centre back, I was like, MK, centre back, centre back. 
cool but he was the right back you didn't want to run up against because you know he's stopping you and you know I let your winger do your job back. no i sent him back to now age man age has kicked me kicked but the thing him. is yeah like is that you solidifying now you're i think i think now you know what yeah when i was younger i used to play i used to think i could play center mid mm. i'm all right you could definitely play center mid i thought i was all right in it but then when i went to academy i went into i started playing center back in it mm. and then when i was at when I, when I was playing academy, I was playing centre back, and then when I got drafted into non-league football, you shift in it because mm. if you're young, and you you don't really want to play against experienced players. But I think if I had taken the gamble from then to play just play centre back and learn mm. to play centre back instead of going right back, it could have been different. Do you know mm. what I mean? But it's football, in it. You live and die by your decisions, in it. Yeah, but no, I, I definitely still think you can play centre mid. Mm, yeah, I don't. I don't see you as that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being modest, isn't it? But but then again, I'm going by that like, Millwall. Yeah. Well, yeah. There you go. Then, isn't it? But but, but saying that, even was talking like those Wednesday nights, like one hour. Yeah. That was probably one of the most enjoyable hours you get in a week. So do you know much, what I mean? Because yeah. like, it's not, it's not saying that you can't handle pressure, but it's just like you can just be free and. As you say, oh, don't let the ball bounce. And, and it's still, like, it's, no, it's still it was, mad competitive. Yeah. You got people doing nine to fives, coming meal at nine o'clock at night, paying their seven pound, and it's a madness. Yeah. Like it's bragging rights, isn't it? No one wants to lose. You know what I mean? Every week, like literally fail. every week. Like there'll yeah. be times we'll be finishing, and I won't even speak to you till the next week. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, that's how mad it is. Mm. Or like, oh, if, no, no, don't, don't chat to me, man. No, you look a cheaters or whatever. But yeah, no. When I played right back, I did enjoy it, but I think. I kind of probably cheated myself. I probably should just play centre back. From, I mean, I think Carl Shorten might be looking for a centre back. Hmm. I spoke to Pete yesterday to be fair as well, but yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Pete's my good mate though. Exactly, isn't it? Exactly. Like, I know good, good if mate, there's anyone my, that can get you down, he's my good good mate. Like I can't. I know lie if there's anyone that. that can get you down, it's probably. Are you, what? Are you going to go Carl Shorten? Huh? Are you going to go? This that is me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm, just, I'm I'm training somewhere at the minute and I don't know we see what happens in it. Where are you training? Somewhere. But you're not letting anything go. No, because there's no need to, innit? The season's not started yet, so Boo. Yeah. Boo. Alright, cool. Um in terms of football outside of like you like actually playing, what teams do you guys support? Well I'm a United fan, yeah. But the last... I mean, you answered the question, fix. Yeah. yeah. It's Cookie. been painful, isn't it? The last, what, five years have been painful. But because obviously I coach at Palace, I'm swinging more that way because I might as well watch Palace because they're more exciting to, to watch. You know what I mean? At least you know what you're going to get from them. Mm. Especially when they're, when they're at home, you know what you're going to get from them. When you got like Zaha and that playing, you know what Do I you have. think Zaha should try and force a move to Arsenal? I don't think he needs to force a move. What's he going to Arsenal for? I don't. I support Arsenal. I don't, I don't think me oh, personally. Arsenal, I don't think he needs to force a move. He's done what he's, he needs to do. Do you know what I mean? And I was even saying to someone yesterday about if I'm Palace, I won't let him go for no less than seventy five million. Just for how the market is, it's mad. Outside the top six, six he's probably the best player outside the top six. So there's no there's no rush for for him to force anything. Well, how's Zaha now? Twenty. Oh, what 25? 25? 25? Yeah, he's all right. Twenty six. Twenty six. Like he's all right. I'm not sure about that. It's a bit weird because I'm not sure Arsenal really need him. Arsenal need defenders, but yeah, like do you know what I mean? I don't they think need they really defenders need him. For, I think uh, me personally, for him, he might have to go abroad. Mm. Whether that's what he wants to do, it's it's up to the club and that, isn't it? But I don't think Arsenal really need a Zaha player right now. They need so, to sort. So you, like. as a as a Arsenal fan, you don't you wouldn't want Zaha. I'm gonna be honest with you, no. Like, See Arsenal, they break my, they've been breaking my heart for a long time. So, <laughs> so you know when your heart gets broken so much, you don't care. You don't even care anymore. It's like it's like you're in a marriage, and mm. you're just like, you know what? This is uh, this is so done. But we've got a house, blah blah yeah, blah. Yeah, blah yeah, we've got yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah. We're just gonna get on with yeah. it. Yeah, that's me and Arsenal. It's done. And I'm flirting with other teams like Palace. Yeah, my the teams my brothers play for, um, wherever they go. Yeah. Like so, Jill and them, I follow Charlton. I was following for a long time when my brother Regan went there. So. Arsenal yeah. Libby's, I can't even lie. Yeah, no, they're just basically. final day playing against Chelsea, I said they're I saw, I saw the Arsenal were linked today with that Pepe guy. I didn't I just what, closed Pepe? the browser. Back, Pepe? No, the um one striker in thingy. I just closed the browser. I didn't even know what I mean. I didn't even it, 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 it is. I'm a United fan, but 
on the outside, I'm like, Arsenal are liberties. Uh, they, they, they like, you know, good. before when you're younger, yeah, you don't care what Arsenal are doing. That's the, that, that was a strict rivalry, innit? It's like, yeah, dead Arsenal. It's like, yeah. yeah. Nah, Whatever it's, you lot are doing, actually, I don't care. Me now. It's Bro, it's now, it's Arsenal. a liberties. Listen, like, shall I tell you what, what also annoyed me? I support Arsenal, innit? I saw the other day that Tottenham are coming in for that Saliba you as well. Yeah, I see that still. Just trying to hijack. Just bully us. Hijack the we're idiots now. Now Tottenham are actually stepping on us. We're idiots. You know what? The uh, best thing to happen was Tottenham not winning the Champions League. Of course. If they had won that, oh my days. I would have had to leave the country. There would have been a riot in North London, 100%. Now, it, you know what really pissed me off about Arsenal, especially this year? <laughs> so, I was on holiday, yeah? And I missed the first half of the Europa League, yeah? So I was kicking up a stink saying, was it nil nil at that time? Nil nil at half time. Yeah, it was nil nil, innit? Yeah. So I was like, right, I need to go I need to go and sit in a bar, yeah, and watch the football. Yeah. I ordered my pizza, it was nil nil. By the time the pizza came, it was three nil. Bro, listen. By the time the pizza came, it was three nil. And I couldn't eat no more. I yeah. couldn't eat because I'm like, I come to Arsenal and then all the, the pizza came, the pizza's there and I, and I just couldn't eat. It's a liberty. Like, and I thought, you lot actually destroyed the night of my holiday, you know? Literally, and I don't really liberty, get enough man. time. Like, literally. Bro, and the thing is, after that first goal went in, Arsenal were playing like it was gung-ho 90 minutes. Like, like anyway, nah, I don't, man. I don't yeah, even, even want to talk about them. So do you come from a family that plays a lot of football then? Because you, you mentioned your, your brothers. Yeah, so um, I got one of my little brothers who's at Gillingham, who's at Charlton. They were at Arsenal. Well, Regan, Regan was at Arsenal for about six years from that mm. under nine or under 10 to scholar age and he went to Charlton. Reese was a pro there at yeah. Arsenal, so he was there from 10 to 19. So um ended up going to Bury, then Coventry and Shrewsbury. He's had a bit of a difficult last year. He just managed changes at Coventry. Mm. Then he moved to Swindon and then- How's your brother now? Reese is 25. He's 25. Go, the but, goalkeeper. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't just say this because he's my brother, but the boy's got talent. Mm. Can play on pitch as well. He could, he, yeah, yeah, his yeah, feet, yeah. 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 Some got, managers won't like it because he will chop the, 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 <laughs> the striker when the striker comes or do something. And you think, what are you doing? Like, mm. Why are you doing that? You don't need to. But um, but yeah, footballing family. My dad used to play. My dad actually played for Dulwich. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, sporting family. Uh, I come from a sporting family. Boxing, MMA. Yeah, just grew up. Sports. Did you watch all them sports as well, boxing and MMA? Oh, so I still box every now and then. So I grew up boxing. Mm. So and um, Cookie, yeah, I don't know about yeah. you. You know you make me laugh, innit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah, because no, because I'm no, no, no. You know it is. You know, unless you know me, MK knows me, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. MK yeah. knows me. So outside, like, if if you just know me from the outside, and you think, oh, Cookie is funny as a joker, yeah. but a joker. But MK knows me. Yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. so it's different to get it. So. Yeah. So, it's just what it is, isn't it? You show the world what you want to show the world. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, you lot have been like around that like, in non-league for a while now. Non-league or not non-league, who would you lot say the best players you've lot, you lot have played with? Played with? Yeah, played with and played against would be. Played with, I'd say, you know what? Before, before this guy I'm going to say, I would have said probably Moses Adamola. Oh yeah, Moses Adamola, hands down. Like he's a he's a joke. So like, humble, yeah, as like, well, man. And just... But then saying that, yeah, there's a boy called Jamal Lowe. He I would played with him at ah. Hampton, mm. and he's just gone Portsmouth. He's gonna remember this name. Oh, that's man. the one they just. No, yeah, but yeah. you told me when we Listen, played against him. Remember this name, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying this now, yeah. Jamal Lowe, yeah. Mm. Like there's a there's a there's a like there's a war going now with like champ clubs that want him now, isn't it? Mm. I never forget the first day he's he come. Gone to, uh, no, he's at Portsmouth, Portsmouth. now. But there's a. The oh, he won. Pr- w- w- he yeah, so promotion or something. Yeah, like. one promotion. Yeah. That he's in his first year, mm. and he just missed out on promotion last year. His name's Jamal Lowe. I remember the first time he come training with us. Um, this is how football's mad. It's all about opinions, isn't it? So he was at. He was floating around. He was at Barnet, yeah. and he went Hemel Hempstead. And I remember he said he went to Truro one time yeah, mm. on a Tuesday night. And the manager, yeah, obviously you can pick five subs. Is it five subs? Mm. And he picked four squad, uh, four subs, and he left him out in it. But he was fit like, yeah. to play in it. And he was like, "Can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine?" <laughs> no, it wasn't true. It was Western. You remember? I'm, I'll never forget the story. He said, but "Away, away." And so made him travel. He travelled to oh Western. Oh my god! <laughs> so he could have picked five subs. He picked four and mm. left him out. And he was like, "I'm done. I ain't playing football again in it. Mm. Like, I'm done." And then my manager at Hampton at the time was like, ah, cool, listen, come, just try and enjoy it, da-da-da-da. 
he basically won us the league from January, innit? Yeah. And then in the summer, he come back here. And when I mean, yeah, the guy was like an animal. Like, yeah. he was like, I'm going pro in Jan, innit? I quit my job. Like, that she said. Yeah. Everyone was laughing, like, oh, yeah, Jams, I know you're sick, but when you look at him and when he said it, mm. like, he wasn't joking, innit? So, from the start of the season to, like, October, he scored, like, 23 goals. Brother. And he plays that wide. It's not striker. I it's remember striker. when it's you lot come to us and you slapped us so, at home. So, like, yeah, Jamal Lowe, he'll play Premier League hands on. Remember I said that, Jamal Lowe. He'll, pray, he'll play Premier League. So, oh, he's probably the best player I've played with. Okay, so him and then Moses. Moses Ademola, yeah. How about you? There's, there's quite a few. There's a list that did for different reasons. Mm. Like, I think Darryl McMahon. He's a joke. He was a joke. He retired just because he went into management. He didn't need to. He can play now. Even when he was training. Remember, mm. we used to do this thing on the corner. We used to go short and then do a flip flap. Yeah, I yeah, all the like, time. I you think it was do, like every first corner on the right hand side, yeah. How can you have that as a tactic? Like, literally. <laughs> yeah, literally. I played with him at Boreham Wood. He used to always just do it. And at Dover. Like, he, like, he was on this solely I'm playing ball. Like, I don't care what anybody says. Like, proper Irish, man. Like, I don't care. Like, I remember yeah, we used to have huddles, yeah, and we never played the best football at Dover, innit? Mm. And the manager used to say, yeah, we're going to play like this. And we'd be in the huddle and he'd be like, forget about what he's saying. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not on what I'm on, then there's a problem, innit? Like, yeah, but no, go on. He was just, yeah, Darryl. No, damn, I'm on. He's that just naturally talented left foot. Mm. Okay, Louis Dennis. He's yeah, he went to Portsmouth yeah. as well. He's there with, yeah. with Lowe. Like, Louis Dennis, me, him and Moses, we went Brom, we got promoted with um, Bromley. And when we was in the National League, there was one month that we went on a madness. We beat team 7-4, seven, seven, 5 nil, mm. 3 nils. We just done an absolute madness. Mm. And we made this Was it you four up front? It, yeah. it was, we had, so like, yeah, Jack yeah. Holland up top, me, Moses and Louis behind him. So this is what played with Mark Goldberg, yeah. yeah? So it was a madness. We called it Flare Gang. This is a game Flare <laughs> yeah, Gang. Remember, all I'm the really time. Serious. We just hashtag all the time. I it was one, <laughs> yeah, brrr, all the time. <laughs> yeah, all the time. There was one game where we, we won 3 no, We all scored. Seventh, we all scored. It was just a madness. It was a madness. You know, just pure enjoyment mm. of football. That has probably been my most enjoyable time mm. with football, other than when we was at Ebsley as well, when we um, won the league. Because that, in terms of professionalism and everything, and every proving that professionalism, everyone being on the right page, that works. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's the kind of thing that Steve Brown and, and Darren McMahon brought into the squad. And um, like Dave Rainford at Chelmsford was a big, a big one for me. Massive influence. He was a brilliant. What about, what he about was, um, played against? Played against. Someone asked me this the other day, you know. And best I said, player. Yeah. Played against. The best player I played against. Best player. I just think who's oh my god, it was punch, punch done something to me, yeah. Best player. Um, I remember he's at Barnet. Jason Punchin. I oh, know. Yeah, yeah. So get ready to pick up the name. Sorry. Yeah, he's um. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. You said best player. Yeah, yeah. yeah sorry, so I'm sorry. asking him, why, why are you picking up the name for? What would you say? Someone from the <laughs> league, yeah. <laughs> but um, he done something to me when I was playing right back, and that's when I thought, oh, I need to learn a little bit more about this defending thing. The whole game, <laughs> the whole game, he was just absolutely ruining me, mm. and that's one of the things that stick in my head that I thought that's the most difficult player to play against. Yeah. Uh, I played against. Did we? Um, did someone bring up Jimmy Punch and Lush last week? I feel like someone brought him up last week as well. But, um, yeah, play it against. Do you know what, yeah? Best player. I'll, prob- I'll probably say him, you know, when I just play right back. Cookie? Yeah. Because we used to have proper, proper... Sol- if any, Obviously, on the outside, I'll probably play against better players that, that are better than him. Yeah. Like, I would say in, fr- in front of him now. But best player when I know that when it's crunch time, I've got to be on it. Yeah. It's probably him. I'm not going to lie. That we had madness. No, we like, we used to play against him from like 18, 19. Like, literally. Mm. Like, literally. MySpace days, you know. The yeah, this is what I mean. That's <laughs> MySpace. Like, and he was hot in it. I can't lie. Like, he's mm. been doing it for a minute. Like, I'm, I'm not going to say it because I'm not just saying it because he's here, but he's been doing it for a minute from when he's like chancer than that. And when he's played on the left, obviously mm. you don't know. And I spelled right back. And I, he was bunning people, in it? Like, literally coming inside like just brassing stuff from like 50 yards but I knew every time I played against him I had to be on it mm. do you know what I mean like as he said there was times we used to fight on the pitch like basically fight on the pitch it was literally no we used to basically the so play will be over there and I'm here like I'm like I'm not tucking in it's me and him fighting 
and he'd be like, ah, right, cool, I know what it's. But you gotta love that, man. No, but no, no but I'm saying that now, when I look at it now, like I, I loved it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, all right, he's he's one of the best wingers. Like he'd be in team of the year every year. Do you know mm. what I mean? And I'd be like, all right, cool. If I've gone toe to toe with him, or he's done bits on me, and I'm like, all right, cool. That's who I need to be up against. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? But I'll probably say him. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. No, real talk, it wasn't, no. You know there's certain fullbacks you look at and you think, I'm just going to bun them. Yeah, yeah. Today, like, like when I used to play against no. MK, yeah, yeah, all the time, it's just like, when people are like, what's wrong with you today, Cookie? I'm like, no, 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 I know what time it is. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, no, yeah. no. Yeah, because, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but the thing is, yeah, it's like, it, you know what? On the eye watching it, it's probably not right. Mm. But I know, bro, you know what? I need to try and take him somewhere where he's not used to, do you know, what he's not used to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And he's probably saying the same thing, going, all right, cool. I know I can run MK if I get him in the. Like, I'll say that he's quick. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's probably like, I can get MK if I, if I get him in a one v one. Like, cool. Some grass behind. Like, I mean, it's gonna be like, I don't know how many times you are gonna battle more, but no, I think we're done now. I know because you're, you're yeah. going willing with him or something. Minute. Okay. Who me? Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> man, man, <laughs> man, <laughs> man, <laughs> uh, he's, he's, he's alright, you know. Yeah, you know what? Oh, know. Yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel sorry for yeah. your mistake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 cool, but uh, guys, before we wrap this one up, we got to do the um, combined eleven, the All Star eleven combined of players, like pro players. Pro players, well. yeah. That we played with. No, just in general. Oh, okay. Oh, pro pro players. Yeah, pro pro players. Ever. Ever. Right. Oh, ever. What from goalkeeper? So it's combined right from back. goalkeeper all the way to. What, do I pick mine and he picks his? Or no, it's combined. Just... You know, oh. combined means like put together. So. Um, oh, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I'm trying to like, I'm trying to get more more yeah. picks in, innit? Yeah. Um, okay, go ahead. Goalkeeper. What formation we doing? Four two three one standard. Surely enough. <laughs> right, that's not that cult. That's how you know it's yeah, a cult, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I remember I grew up four four two, you know. Yeah, I know four four two. Four two three one, you get more of the technical. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Left back. Wait, who, who's your goalkeeper? Don't goalkeeper. worry, we'll come back to that. Uh, <laughs> mm, yeah. I think left back, Marcelo. No, <sighs> I'm going. I'm going Roberto Carlos. <sighs> You know what? <laughs> you know what? Okay, I think you're us. the first person to ever go not go for this, a certain left back. Second. Yeah. Cole, actually Cole. Yeah. I, I had that in my mind, yeah? That was in my head? Yeah, that was in my head. But Marcelo, man. Marcelo's techie with it, but yeah. Roberto yeah. Carlos, hey, yeah. iconic. Oh, you, anyway, sure, sure. Uh, sure Roberto Carlos was just iconic for me. So go on, either one of them. But you said world, didn't it? Like, you... Mm. Who's your right back? My right back. Because mine's... Mine's Cafu. Yeah, I think Cafu, yeah. yeah. To be, Hands I had down. Alvis on my head, but he said Cafu. So, so who's, who's your left back then? Should we go Ashley Cole or the what? No, Marcelo and Cafu. Ah, cool, that, yeah. yeah. I got Ashley, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Marcelo and cool. Cafu, go on. And your centre backs? Oh, this really gets a bit techy, man, isn't it? You're a centre back as well. Me personally, I pick Rio. Yeah, I'm picking Rio in I there. I can't lie. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, that's who I watched when I was growing yeah. up, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. And the other one? And then the other one. Saul Campbell's a buckhead, you know? Yeah. He looked, and he looked like my dad. I've got one in my head, but I don't really want to say his name, to be honest. That's it, man. I don't really want to say his name. Is it too early to say his name? Yep, Stam. Because you don't like him? You know, it's not even Stam. I don't really like him. Oh, no, I think I know you're going yeah. um, to pick. But Stam, you pulled that one out, though. Uh, Stam was an absolute yeah, monster. Stam was mad. Stam was... Stam was Can I monster. pick current players as well? Yeah. What, Virgil? Yeah, I was thinking Virgil. Real. Nah. Who's light tackling when you need a man nah. to chuck his head? John Terry? You thinking John, what? Now, I don't need a man in there that's going to headbutt everything. We'll tackle his mum if she had the ball. You can't man and you need yeah, 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 yeah. He needs a madman as well. I could go Stam. I'm all right with Stam. I could roll with Stam. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, the, the, the two sitting. Patrick has to be in there. Yeah, I don't think it's two sitting. I think it's one, one that is sit, that sits and you okay, got one. Okay, so the two, four, two, three, one. All right. Yeah, PV could go in there. He has to go Yeah, in he has to go in there. Okay. Yeah. And then next is it done? That that's without question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without Zidane question. Zidane. And then I think right I go old school Messi. Oh well, we're doing four four two? I don't know what's no, going on. No, four two three one. Obviously okay. the two, innit? Okay, so, so what we got Zidane Vieira. Yeah, Zidane Vieira. Yeah. Okay. Actually no, actually no, Messi could go in the hole, standard. Put, put Messi in the hole over yeah. Dino at his prime. No, but I was thinking Dino at left, didn't No, I? no, no. Put Dino, you can go where you want. 
sausage roll. Him and Messi could just do their thing. <laughs> yeah. What? No. So what? Dino in the ten. That for, so we just say three behind the one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So Dino, Messi. I'm a Ronaldo fan. Which one? Cristiano Ronaldo. Okay. Yeah, that leads up to the next one now, isn't it? Yeah, because big run, big run, yeah, big run yeah, is the number standard. nine. Yeah, that's standard. He's, yeah, he's that's R9. Standard. So what? No, we haven't picked goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Mm. I need Ashley in there. That's what I look up. It's a sticky one. They all kick ball, innit? So you need a ball playing. No, mm. actually, no, not really. You need someone that's going to be certain that's going to just be a goalkeeper. Can't put that Mad Mad Schmeichel in there. I was thinking that as well. Yeah, but he's, but he's not a ball player. But I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking at him now. Like when I was watching Premier League years and all of that, most of his, he's just been brave and just <laughs> throwing his body at him. <laughs> That's mad. I want to see some mad techie saves. So, could you put Edwin? The hair, I was going to say, the hair. Oh, but Edwin was the first that started oh, playing ball. And to be fair, he could play right and left, didn't it? First to start playing ball, Mr. Van der Sar. Could do, yeah, to be fair, ball playing. Goalkeeper, right and left infested. Edwin. Edwin Van Sor. Edwin Van Sor, Cafu, Rio, Stam, Marcelo, yeah. PV, Zidane. Then the three can do their thing. Ronaldo, Messi, Zidane. I don't no, Dino, you mean? Sorry, Dino, Dino sorry. Mm. Messi, Dino, Cristiano. And then... Oh, no, not front. That is mad balance in there as well. So, so no, no space for... Henri, no Buffon, no Asuko, no Eto. It's life. It happens, Eto, man. Eto. What in the it's world? Life. Ever? It's life, man. It uh, happens. Man. He's, in the, he's, in the, he's in the question, bro. No, he's no, not in the question there. Henri is. He's so, certified. Blah, 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 no, Eto certified. Eto certified, but I don't think life ever. No, I don't think anyone ever puts him in the in the All Star Eleven. Mm. Because but he's certified. Got, he's a great squad member yeah. though for the twenty three All Star Eleven. <laughs> Yeah, I love him I mean, in yeah, there, yeah, but he could play off by himself. Yeah, 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 he could be, yeah, yeah. he could play. It was a savage man, Yeah, he told about stuff. He could do that. Told about something. Don't care, like don't, don't care, like in his Pumas. In that Cameroon, Cameroonian kit as well. Remember that World Cup kit they had one time. That spray one on. Okay, cool. So um that's probably the best. That's what I'm saying. The best All Star we've had. Yeah, you're not seeing the ball. Yeah, trust me, you're not. It's fine. And if we do lose it, Vieira's on you. Yeah, just what I mean. You and Stan, one, one day we're going to have a talk about Prime Vieira, yeah? Prime Vieira. Joke. Bro. Joke. Play midfield by But the thing is, Man, I really appreciate Vieira. Oh. Appreciate Vieira when he left Arsenal and you watch Premier League years. Like, as a United fan. Like, before I'd be like, dead Vieira, man. Dead. Nah. Dead the whole Arsenal team. I don't care. Like, he was the only one that got Roy Keane that angry. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah trust me. Tunnel. Roy Keane was rattled. Yeah, he was rattled. From he was early. Gone. From early. Because he knew. He knew what time it was yeah, with Vieira. Yeah. Oh. Mate, I remember one game, Arsenal West Brom, and we went down to ten men. Vieira was just in the middle, just attacking, defending all by himself. Dragged us back in the game. Yeah. Oh, the f- even look, after, this is what Arsenal. I mean. Look even even, even talking about Arsenal, as a United, that's that's not even talking as as United fan, yeah. even Arsenal done him dirty, bro. Yeah. Even Arsenal done him dirty to even allow him to go where he went Juve at the yeah. time, innit? 16 mil. This is what... 16 nah, mil. No, no, but remember, the money then was, was a completely yeah, different still, thing. Yeah, still... Still... No, 16 mil, fam. Yeah. Come, come. Henri only went for like 25, innit? Imagine that. To Barca. No, yeah. I, I don't think it was, tw- it was 25. 25 was big then, though, you know? I don't think it was 25, you know? I think it might have been like seven, 16, 17 as well. No, it couldn't have been. No, no I'm pretty sure. I to be a 20 million pound player was business. Overmars when he went, Overmars was a mat. That's one underrated piece of winger, you know. Marco Van Persie to United, 25. That was a disgrace. Did that's when I, that's when I said, Arsene Wenger, what are you doing? How are you going to send him there? You better go foreign, you know. You send right. him to Beijing, make him eat noodles for the rest of his life. Adebayo, Koro Clichy, Sanyo, Ultraman, C- well, anyway, this, 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 this is this is ball hour, not not flipping Premier League years. Just, yeah, yeah, just leave yeah, it as that. Yeah, but yeah, guys, thanks for coming on. No problem, man. Thanks for um, having us. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You, I'll be, I've been telling this guy get you two on, bro. <laughs> when, when did you yell at you for this? This guy. Uh, it's about a month ago, right? Yeah, about a month ago. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just to certify. Yeah, yeah. He probably thought we weren't going to make it today. No, but I'm not, I'm not I know. I know. I'm not I'm not gonna gonna he walked in two weeks ago before. He was like, you guys still all right? Yeah, like, like, no babysitting. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good I was, was looking, like, I was thinking, these guys ain't going to shut. Then when I saw you put the um, the thing up on the oh, ball. Oh, coming, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. These, these guys are coming. But guys, thanks for coming. Yeah. Kings of the North. Probably going to be, oh, Kings of the North. Go and get the trophy in shot. Boom. There you go. Hey, we got Cliff.
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, shout out Cliff, man. Uh, hey, listen, don't let his head go before his new season, man. Hey, like, winners win. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, keep liking, subscribing, sharing, all of that good stuff. And um, yeah, see you on, on the next one. So we're out. <laughs>